DJ Pro for the Android allows you to connect MIDI controllers to DJ with controllers on your Android device, but it's a lot more limited and there's a lot less controllers you could use compared to DJ Pro on the Mac or the iPad. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect the wired controller, how to connect the Bluetooth controller, but first I wanna show you which controllers are actually supported by this software so you could make the right purchasing decision. So if you go to the middle button, and then we go to settings, and then we go to MIDI devices. It's, you can't see it on the Android. You might have to go to the website, but on the iPad, if you do the same thing, there's a part where it says view all supported MIDI controllers. And then they have some featured ones, but you could see on Mac, there's a huge list of controllers, pretty much any modern controller you could think of, and some really old ones. Same thing for iOS. But now if we get to Android, it's much, much more limited and a much smaller selection. And you cannot custom map any controller with an Android device. So the, uh, the new ones are the Alpha Theta DDJ Flex 2, the DDJ GRV6, which are really good professional controllers. You could use the Pioneer Flex 4, which I made a lot of videos about, which is a great controller. You could use the Hercules Control Mix and the Control Mix Ultra. And then um, there's a list of Reloop controllers, and I was really excited to see my favorite controller, the Reloop Buddy. So you could take a screenshot or pause this, or just go to the algorithm website and see, so you make sure you buy one that's supported on your device. So now that you have a supported controller, you're probably gonna need one more thing because my Android device, and I think most new Android devices, are gonna be powered by USB-C. So you're gonna need a way to plug in a regular USB to the USB-C. Um, some controllers like the Flex 4, I think uh, are USB-C to USB-C, so you won't need that. But if you're having trouble connecting the wire that came with your controller, like the Reloop Buddy, then you may need one of these. And if you're using the Android, you don't have to get a fancy one. You don't have to get one with HDMI because there is no video mode like there is in the app for the iPad. So let me just go back. So here we are, where we have the app and we have the paid version. Pretty sure you're gonna need the paid version to connect controllers. So this is the wire that comes with this Reloop Buddy. So this is gonna go into the actual controller or whatever port your controller has. If you go with the Flex 4 or something, just use that one. And then we are going to plug it in like that. And then now we need a way to get our USB-C in. So I'm gonna be using one of these. And now we're gonna plug it right into the USB-C port right there. And just like that, our controller is connected. That's all you have to do. And now your controller is connected. And with a wired controller like this, most of them are gonna have a way to plug in your headphones. So you can plug in your headphones, start DJing with DJ Pro for the Android. And there are a lot of professional controllers, especially the Flex 4 and some of those Alpha Theta controllers are full, are full mid-range to advanced DJ controllers. Another thing that I want to test out is on Android with our cue points. So we're going to open this part here, go to our cue points, and you can see that the cue points are lighting up on the controller as I select them. But if we press the pencil button here, then press the drop down, you can see that this one is blue now, but I could change it to red and it'll show up on the controller. So you could change the colors of the pads and they will show up if you have an RGB controller like this one. So very easy. That's how you could connect a wired controller to DJ Pro for the Android. Now, let me show you with this Bluetooth controller. So this specific controller, you're gonna have to plug into a power source. If you have the new one, you don't have to plug into a power source. So now I'm gonna plug it into the power source, but you can see it's not connected yet. So what we have to do is go into our software, press the middle button, then we could go to MIDI, connect the Bluetooth controllers. You press that once and we find our controller, DJ Control Mix Ultra. And just like that, now we have our Bluetooth controller connected and we have our wired controller connected. So if you wanted to use two controllers at the same time, you could do it on the Android as well. 
So DJ Pro for the Android, although it has limited features and limited connectability, you could still DJ with some great controllers and get a full professional DJ experience. And if you want to see me compare DJ Pro for the Android versus DJ Pro for the iPad, check out this video over here. Thank you.